Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott, One Percenter Podcast today. I am here today with Bree. Now listen, she is a killer. She runs a, a badass company. She's an incredible leader, and she's going to tell us how she's built one of the biggest um, companies in the world. I'm going to tell you what she does here in a second, but how she's growing so fast. You hear a bunch of people whining, complaining, having problems. She don't see none of that. She's smashing it. Get ready for what we got to come out for you next. Check it out. I got all the voters. I swear to God, I've been at it for a minute. Climbing to the top, and this music was my ticket. Found a way to grind, turn a passion to a All right, guys, so here we go. So, number one, I want to tell you why we create content, why we have podcasts, okay? Number one, because a lot of you, every single day, you want to grow, you want to go to new levels, you know. I don't know what year it is when you're watching this, but we're going into 2024, okay? And right now, there's never been a better time to be great. Everybody's asleep. Everybody's whining. Everybody's complaining. Everybody's gotten complacent. Mediocrity is crawling all over everybody. You know, like this is the time to win. So if you really want to destroy it these next couple years, this is the time, if you want to be a killer, to wake up now. Now, listen, there's two things. Number one, you can open your own business and become an entrepreneur. Okay. Or you can be an intrapreneur. Okay. Which means that you find someone that's going somewhere in life that's doing big things. And you're like, man, how can I get together with them and go to the top? How can I blow them up? And by the way, intrapreneurs, four out of five millionaires work for someone else. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people that are like, man, I want to be a millionaire. Dude, opening your own business. Like if you're not killing it, working for someone else, how would you kill it on your own? Mm -hmm. Right. Because then you have all the responsibility, you have all the accountability. So you need to realize this right now, that maybe being an entrepreneur would be the greatest thing you ever did. Less stress. You're not going to get sued. You don't have to take on <laughs> risk or responsibility and all of these things. And that's an opportunity that you may learn about with uh, Bree on this podcast, how you, because she's looking for killers right now. She has them already, but she's looking for people who are hungry. What I love is that Bree has the same mentality in me. We're not looking for people that are the greatest. We're looking for people that want to be the greatest. We're looking for people that, that want to be molded and made. And, and, you know, and obviously like coming from a life of struggle myself, I know Bree has some stories, but like we really resonate with people that take their wounds and turn them into their weapons weapons, right? Mm -hmm. Who are ready to go prove everybody wrong who ever doubted them, right? Like basically bet against me, yeah. but you got to find a good leader because a good leader will give you a great opportunity. And that's what Bree's doing right now. And that's why she's growing so fast because she loves making people great. And she gives them an opportunity. Matter of fact, a level 10 earning opportunity to really make and earn more money than they ever imagined, but also be happy as hell, man. Mm -hmm. So good job on killing it. And uh, yeah. number one, Bree, tell us about you. Number one, how old are you? What's up? Why are you in the industry you're in? What industry are you in? Yeah. And let's just kind of roll us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, first, I want to just start. I I'm getting right now, I'm getting my minister's license. And this is just something that I do. It's a part of me. And I just want to just open up with a quick prayer, if you don't mind. Let's roll. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come before you right now. It's your throne of grace, God, and we are so grateful because we are so broken. We are so messy, and we need you so desperately, God. I ask right now for favor on the Elliott Group who are transforming lives, God. I ask right now for favor on my company as well, God, because we are interested in serving and transforming lives as well. God, I ask that you bless this time, this fellowship, and that really that someone out there would get something from this immeasurable impact, God. Do your work. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, man. Hire me right now. I'm ready. <laughs> I quit the Elliott Group. Sorry. I'm coming I, over. I have learned, man, like, if it's $2 million, $2 million a year and God's not in it, I don't want it. You know, if it's two hundred k a year and God's in it, I want it. So um, my name is Brienne McCullough. I am from Las Vegas. Um, I am born and raised. I'm third generation. My father was a general contractor. Um, my father came from nothing, nothing. I literally watched him acquire wealth overnight and i also um saw him acquire wealth from a poverty mindset mm -hmm. and um i watched him struggle really uh, a lot growing up i would have we'd have cars with no insurance like kind of hood rich right yeah and uh, my dad learned some really hard lessons and i wa i got to watch entrepreneurship like failure and success over and over at its finest you know a first close up up close look um you know my mother passed away when i was 12 years old from opiate addiction um something that i started to face when i was 15 years old i spent about 15 years in heroin and opiate addiction i am a girl who I, you know and i don't say this as a badge of honor i say this because i truly believe in transformation and i believe that everybody deserves the chance to have redemption in their life and that's what my company is about and i know that that's what your company is mm -hmm. about 
I am the girl who overdoses on the front lawn with my baby strapped in the back seat of the car. That's who I was 10 years ago. And God has transformed my life. Mm. He has made a way out of no way. And really, I'm not special. I'm not. I did a little bit of work. I humbled myself. I became a student. And I really started to listen to people who knew better than me just by simply seeing them have better success in their life than me. Hey guys, I would love to personally invite you to come train out with me. I'm gonna be coached by my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi, June 13th, 14th, and 15th, right here in Scottsdale, Arizona. All you have to do is have trained with me at least on a training course before. So if you're watching this, if you've purchased one of my training courses before, you qualify for this. By the way, it's free. It doesn't cost you any money. It's absolutely free. So what does that mean? That means if you're watching this and you've trained with me, I'm not gonna charge you anything. I want you to come train with me. I want you to come out to Scottsdale, Arizona. You're gonna train with me while I get coached from my coach, Tony Robbins and Dean Graciosi. It's gonna be three days straight. This room is gonna be filled with about 500 people that are raging fans of what the LA Group stands for, is the core values, the standards, and winning and kicking ass. And if that's you, you're gonna be with these like-minded people and you're gonna be with me while I coach. I love you guys. It's something that I've never done before, but it's a private invite for those who have trained with me. So if you wanna to come to this, just text the number, 918-210-0254. Write it down. It's very simple. 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text. Say, hey, Andy, my name's John Watson. I did buy your training course, you know, a year ago. I would love to come train with you on these three days with you and your company while you're getting coached. I'd love to spend that time with you. If that's you, boom, we'll send you over an invitation. It's limited seating, only 450 to 500 people, and then we're cutting it off. Let's get back to the video. I was a girl who had warrants in every state. I didn't have a license. I had nothing 10 years ago. And um, I started this life of total recreation. And if you would have told me 10 years ago, sitting in that detox center, my umpt umpteenth detox center, that I would be a business owner today, that I would be helping people, that I would have a solar sales team. I have about 50 employees. We've done $100 million in sales in four years. My little company, if you would have told me that 10 years ago, I would have told you you were fucking crazy, right? But that is just the power of of the human spirit, right? Mm -hmm. Of like the human condition, man. Resilience. Like, God, the resilience, the grit. And I am so grateful for that grace. And that's why I'll always start always glorifying and edifying God first because, and I know you do too, but mm -hmm. everything I have in my life is borrowed because I've had nothing and I've had everything. But right now, everything in my life, how we choose to live, me and my husband is open hand policy. It's like, borrowed right like if god chooses to take it it wasn't for me anyway and i've had to learn that as an entrepreneur it's really hard when you take losses but really they're lessons right so yes. um you know i wanted to start that way because i was like man like what you do here is you really are furthering the kingdom you are really changing the world and one person at a time and so many people are attached to that and that's why i talk about immeasurable impact it's like you helping one person you're helping their wife their children their children's ch children you're like a generational curse breaker that's something to be so proud of and that's, that's who i want to be that's how i want to show up in the mm. world i want to help people break those chains over their families and those generations of poverty and sickness and all of those things addiction all of that oppression and some people i feel like out there don't even know there's another way to live people are sleeping out there and really like the process of the last nine years of me waking up to myself this spiritual awakening of you know who am i without covering up with drugs and alcohol and all this like sitting with myself getting to know yourself i heard you the other day talk about so many people don't even know who they are we don't even know who we are but for the last nine years i've had to sit without drugs without alcohol with myself and my feelings and learn how to face life head on no more fight or flight so like my company i think has done so well because i'm it's full of underdogs. It's full of those guys who have those same stories that where they go to Walmart and they get rejected because of their background or their history, right? Or they go to another company and just because they have tattoos on their face or they look a certain way, they're rejected. At my company, 
the the more fucked up you are, the more we want you. The more broken you are, the more we want you. The more messed up you are, we, the more we want you because we believe so much in transformational leadership, so much in servant leadership that in 90 days you will not look the same. You will not be the same. And I really, really believe that that is my heart for anybody who comes through my company. And you know, because solar is messy. And I have been betrayed, I have been hurt, I have been robbed, I have been backstabbed more times than I can count. And those are the distractions you're talking about, like the complaining, the whining, all of it's happened to me, all of it. And um, I think the reason we're still standing here is because I have a team of people who are literally people who have their roses out of concrete. Like they have fought some of their hardest days of their life, like Fed rates going up, nothing that doesn't mean nothing to yeah, us we we fought our hardest days so i think like that is what makes our team and our inner circle so incredible is that we have forged this bond through adversity mm-hmm. through the tough times in this industry and i don't i have great retention i mm-hmm. don't have people who just come in come out and the people who end up leaving end up saying hey the grass wasn't greener over here it was actually greener where we were watering it together you know Some of those lessons are really hard to learn. But for me, that's like who I want to be. I want people to come into my company and for me to be able to serve them and know that they're not going to be the same in 30 days, six. And what you put in is what you get out. Like to me, that is everything more than money, more than anything. And and people talk about profit over people or people over profit and impact and all that. But like, do you really mean it? Do you really mean it? And I do. Like, I absolutely do. We've had some crazy stories. Like, we had a manager where we fostered their niece for a year. We took this baby in for a year. Like, that's that's how tight we are as a family. Like, and when we came to your event, like, they were like, wow, they're like, uh, like we're kind of like them. And they're kind of like us. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, like, we are. And it affirmed for them that they are in the right organization. Because a lot of these guys, they start to look over here and over there and this comp plan and that red line instead of just staying where you're at Mm. and honing your craft and watering it right where you're at so i think because i have those guys who know that um and they're unrecruitable there i have guys who are absolutely unrecruitable um and i'm so grateful for that because this business is so so shady but i am looking for more people who want to change and transform their lives because I want to be attached to that. I want to be attached to your grandchildren who get the benefit of that. Like that's to me what I'm put on this planet for is that impact. You know what I mean? Damn. Okay. All right. Listen, so I'm going to go back over a couple things. Obviously I don't need to (laughs) talk about anything she said because she handled herself very well, but I want to say this. It's a power play to stay in one place. Yeah. Um, Most people don't know this, but it is a power play to stay where you are. Mm -hmm. Uh, Most people want to jump around. They want to leave when things get hard because someone else is telling them we don't have those problems over here. Mm -hmm. And really they do. Okay. Um, One of the reasons why our company is growing so fast is because like our churn rate, like 99% people, like they stay 1% roll out. And it's normally because we decide that they're not like us. And I need you to understand this. If you'll become the best and the greatest at what you do, which obviously you have a great leader. That's super important. And you're a great leader and y'all's earning potential in y'all's company is amazing. But really the ability to be around people that believe like she believes like that doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell like why she's talking. You can tell when people are real. We all have a bullshit meter, right? And we can understand when people are real and they're not. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I'll tell you guys, it's super important where when you're looking for your level 10 earning opportunity, when you're looking to be an entrepreneur in someone's company and help blow them up, which is what she's looking for, um, your soul, you can feel it in people's soul when they're really telling you the truth, when they really mean something. And your soul, it like it like rests on the outside of your body. Thank you. So like you can see it, right? And then obviously, you know, like she's a strong woman. Like men and women, we can tell those that have been tried, those that have been refined by the fire, mm-hmm. those that have been betrayed, those that have been hurt, those are the ones that give the most love to their people mm-hmm. or those are the ones that are the worst people to work for, mm-hmm. okay? And that's why I love your perspective. Like mm-hmm. your lenses, like mm-hmm. the way you see life, like is really easy. Yeah. 
It's like, man, this is simple. Like, like what would we be angry about? Yeah. Like, what would we be upset about? Oh, like the economy changed. Who gives, who gives a crap? Right. Rates went up. Who cares? Oh, those guys over there are complaining. Who cares? I have, I've been brought back to life every way that you could possibly imagine. Like, yeah, I love that. Who cares? Like it, it, it doesn't matter. Um, and, and really just like fighting my way straight through. And I really want to give a shout out to Tommy Gill, David Streeter, Angelo Calabrese, Stephen Shinogle, my inner circle. Those have been my battle tested soldiers who have never left me despite anything that's ever happened. And they understand the assignment and the mission. And they were actually the ones who led me to you. Um, but I want to give a special shout out to them because honestly like that core group you have to have a core a, mm -hmm. a solid core group yeah everything could go away tomorrow but if if that core group stayed intact man, we're we're pretty good we're yeah. pretty good and Damn and right. and we'd have a lot of fun making you know some good money together so i just wanted to tell you guys i love you and i appreciate you but um yeah um, well, let, let me tell everybody real quick so i can make sure that if you've made it to this point and obviously you know, she poured her heart out how they operate their company, right? Which I love how people share with me how they operate their their inside culture, right? Because the only thing that's going to insulate you from good times and bad times is going to be your culture. Yes. Okay, right? Because it doesn't matter what happens outside my company. What matters is what's happening inside of my company. Yeah. Guys, Andy Elliott, listen, if you're interested in real estate investing, I've got the Hustle Summit. It's going to be June 1st. It's going to be in Scottsdale, Arizona. You guys know where I live. Now, this event is going to be one day. It's going to be super simple. I've got a boy in mind. His name's Eric Klein. He's built about four eight-figure businesses. And right now, he's teaching people how to do wholesale real estate and make 100 grand a month. You guys just text the number below. I'll get you information on the tickets. I'd love to get close to you. I will be here. I'll meet all of you. I'll be speaking to you. Text the number below. I'll get you the information. Let's kill it. And that's why I want to tell you, that's why a great leader is super important. That's why the right perspe perspective is super important. And that's why she's killing it and they're crushing it is because her perspective for anybody around them inside of her company rolls like this. Like, we're good. And by the way, like, you're going to go make good money. We're going to do great. Like, those, it's not an option not to, mm -hmm. but we're going to take good care of each other. You know, we're going to protect each other. And like, man, you just don't see that much anymore. And I almost call that, you know, it's a team. I know it, but it's almost like a family. Is, yeah. um, so if, if somebody's watching this and they're like, okay, so number one, I want her to tell more about what she does, mm -hmm. but I want you to be like, do, okay, all right, you got my attention. I like that. Okay, how do I get together with her? How do I get together and work for someone like that? Hey, if I'm looking for an opportunity, if I want a level 10 earning opportunity, if I'm looking to change my life, which truly you will do when you're around the right people, if I'm ready to give it all I got, we're rolling into 2024, um, who, do I, who do I give all I got to? right? Like how many of you right now have worked really hard for the wrong people? Mm. Just ask yourself that. Like how many of you have worked really hard? You've given everything you had, you were ready to grow. And then you ended up doing it with the wrong people. And you resonate when she was like, Hey, I've been burned. I betray. I was betrayed. She gave all she had to, to these people and they betrayed her. Mm -hmm. If you're ready to join someone that truly understands betrayal so that they like get like that out of the way up front, like that's not something that how we operate here. And like, we're going to protect each other. We're going to grow. Yeah. We're going to kill it. And we're not only going to make a lot of money, which is the job part, but we're going to do life together, which means your family is going to be a part of our family. Mm -hmm. This stuff doesn't exist. And that's why me and her have so much in common because our cultures are identical. Mm -hmm. I want to give you a cell phone number. I wrote this down because I asked her, how could someone reach out to you if they wanted to, to uh, apply to work for you or to talk about working for you, right? So I'm going to give you a number, okay? And maybe you can text and be like, hey, I saw your podcast. I'm interested. Um, reach out to me when you can. Also, maybe you're watching this, right? And you're like, I, I, don't, I don't need a place. Like I'm, like, I'm good, but I know someone that needs to watch this podcast. I know someone that's looking to give it all to somebody. Okay. Um, why don't you forward this podcast to them? Why don't you send this to them? Let them watch it. And then they can make the decision to text. Okay. This is about giving people the opportunity to find their way out to their next level of life. And Hey, if you don't have any problems, she does take people who have no problems. Okay. <laughs> yes. Like, like she's not saying like, I want the worst. Yes. <laughs> she's saying that like, if you're someone, and I mean this, who believes, mm -hmm. right, that, that maybe you're not worthy of a better life because of uh, past stuff, we're like, dude, that doesn't matter. Like, that's what makes you actually more dangerous and more grateful. More and if qualified. you, yeah, and if and yeah, and if you haven't had any problems, like we love people that don't have any problems right. and that want to work hard and make good money. 
but we're also letting you know the way the world revolves, if you're of any age, okay, and I mean over the age of 18 years old, I just can't imagine you being here on planet Earth and not having some crap happen to you that at some point made you think, man, you know, I don't know that, you know, I can be a part of anything great yeah. because I'm just being honest with you. Like that's, that's 90% of the world. That is most of the world is lost yeah. and how they become found is they find a great leader. So, mm -hmm. um, I love it. So tell everybody a little bit about like what you do, like sure. what do people do when they work for you? Like, what do they sell? What goes on? How does that work? Sure. So we have, um, I was in solar installation for the last four years. And then this last year I really came I, I came back. I focused strictly on solar sales. I have a call center that was developed during the pandemic, which was like, everyone told me in the solar space, you'll never be able to do a call center. This is a door to door industry. They all bet against me. And me and my partner were smashing with this call center and still no one has been able to duplicate it. So with my company, you get calendar full of appointments. Um, we book anywhere between 200 to 300 appointments a week for closers to go on. So you already have this problem kind of solved if you're somebody who doesn't want to door knock as much, but those appointments are meant to be supplemental. So we have a door knocking team as well. We have a fast track way to be a self-generating closer, which you can close if you want. They're just your leads, not ours. Um, and we're in five states right now. We are in Nevada, Colorado, Arizona, uh, Texas, and California right now. So we have spots all over right now. We're looking for leaders in those areas, specifically Colorado and Arizona here. Um, I'm looking for some like dogs, some leaders. Um, mm -hmm. But when you come and work for us, it it's an environment of, yes, it's all threefold, spiritual, mental, physical. We want to be a part of all of those things. We want your wives, your kids, your family, everybody in the fold, much like you. We want everyone on the ride to know where we're going, what the next level is, what the accountability looks like. Because I believe that if I have a leader that is lying to me about how they treat their spouse or what time they're coming home to their kids and they're not doing those things, they're definitely not going to be able to lead anybody in my company or lead themselves. Right. So we really take like a holistic approach. Like, and it's not that we want to be all up in your business, but Hey, like, who are you? What's going on? Sure like a good life. we want to enrich yeah. every area of your life because we know the byproduct of that is production. We know the byproduct of that is sales that you are going to absolutely crush it when we can figure out sometimes people just got some things they need to get over, whether it's shame or self doubt. All right. And one well, of the things I love about well, you, and most companies don't care no. about people's life at home. So like what you're Hell saying no. is the opposite of which is why you're growing. Yes. You're like, Dude, we know you do life with somebody and mm -hmm. we want to make sure that like you guys are living at a high standard, you're having a good life. Yeah. And and you actually care enough about your people that it's not a paycheck. Yes. They say people will work for a boss for a paycheck, mm -hmm. but they'll work for the leader with blood, sweat, and tears. Mm -hmm. I have I have those guys. Yeah. I have those guys for sure. Yeah. So that's Absolutely. super rare that anybody even mentions that we care about your family at home. <laughs> yeah. Um, they may say a slogan in their standards sure. about, oh, family. Sure. But like they don't even know your wife's name or your husband's name or your mm -hmm. kid's name. Mm -hmm. And I love that because you know everybody in your company, you know their name by, by heart. Oh, yeah. And their family and kids. We do something at our company called, actually it was my husband's idea, because um, we were we were donating to organizations and we got to go to Nepal, build a solar system, you know, for a village in Nepal. And my husband said there was, he noticed, he's like, there's a lot of people that come in and they struggle because in sales, it's like, have you ever seen that meme on Instagram where it's Jesus holding this big teddy bear behind his back and there's mm -hmm. a little girl with like a little one? Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. And she's like clutching onto it, but she can't get the new big beautiful teddy bear until she gives up her old little shitty teddy bear right mm -hmm. and so god's like waiting there for the exchange but when people are in sales they're told trust the process attack the process whatever right so they give up that little teddy bear and they're waiting sometimes for months weeks until that big teddy bear comes or that paycheck drops right mm -hmm. and so my husband noticed that there was people that were struggling that wanted to really be a part of sales in those first few months but couldn't afford it because it's there's not security so we started this thing called hope floats and and it's interesting the company all pledges together 
and they pledge a part of their paychecks every week to one recipient of the month who might need just a little bit of help to get by. And it's usually the new guy in the room because we believe the new guy is the most important person to get by. And some of those Hope Floats checks are two, three, four thousand dollars for a new guy to get on his feet while he's waiting for his first commission check is like a really big deal. So that's like one of the things that we do at our company that I love about our culture. You guys is do like, that every month? We do it every month. And it's Dude, that's super cool. It's so cool I'm because like, damn, like, why didn't I come up with that? It's so and my yeah, my husband did it was it's so cool because people are hurting like and when when we take a step into sales that's really what we're doing it's like it's scary but we know because we've been on the other side of it for years now i have you know six seven years worth of sales experience i was in mm -hmm. cbd and e-liquid manufacturing before i have enough evidence to know hey sales pays off but yeah. when you're talking to a new guy they're terrified so mm -hmm. that hope floats might get them through just that little bit of hope um through those first couple months and it's just a really beautiful nice thing that we get to do in our culture but we just did something too um a couple saturdays ago and i noticed that you guys were doing it's like we were, were always in sync you guys were doing your vision board mm -hmm. and we did a whole five-year planning course um, for our guys, an eight hour course, we brought in financial advisors um, to you know tell them how to work their money with Roth IRAs, IULs, um, different financial literacy. And then we went through a whole five year planning course that I took them through with their spouses. So their spouses, their kids came and they got to map out their life for you know six to eight hours on this Saturday. So things like that are different about our organization than the other companies that say, come in, here's a scripts, sink or swim. We don't do that. We, yeah. we really want to see the new guy win. And so when you get with a company like ours, it's like, no, we're going to be there shoulder to shoulder with you every step of the way until we can get money in your pocket because we want your family to have money and we want you to stay with us. So that's our first goal when a new guy comes in is like somebody attach that guy to their hip and get that guy some money, you know, so just a um, little bit. Yeah. And by the way, anybody listening to this, it basically says that if you're looking to change your life, like. As long as you're serious, right, like and you're really ready or you're ready to really make some money, you know, and you want to be loyal and the things that she's saying you stand you stand for, right? Like think about this, like everything that she said, like you could rewatch this and write down all the things that she said was important to her. Is that important to you? Well, is your current leader, is your current company, is the place you're currently giving your life to? are those things that you're getting. Mm -hmm. If you're not, it's available out there. Mm -hmm. The cool thing is, is that you're in control of your life. You can have everything that you want. Shoot her a text message, okay? Or at the bottom in the description box, I also put a link where you can fill out some information and she can get a hold of you. But you can always just text, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and a second thing I want to say is that if you really want to get wealthy in life, okay? You know, health, I love it. You know, I love wealth. I, I, love, I, I love fitness. I love a lot of different things. But if you want to get wealthy, you have to sell something. Hmm. You have to. I need everybody to understand this. If you want to get ultra wealthy, I don't care what it is that you're doing. It has to involve sales. Now I want to talk about the flip side of that. Sometimes people have sales jobs, but they're not level 10 earning opportunities. You could have a level 10 skill working for a level two earning opportunity company. And even if you're the most skilled person, you're still not going to make enough money. Mm -hmm. She has a level 10 earning opportunity, which means it's unlimited. Mm -hmm. Like, like it's unlimited. Mm -hmm. Like you could make a million a year. Yeah. Are you, could you make a million dollars where you're at right now? If not, she has an opportunity to do it. That's mm -hmm. just crazy to me. Yeah. And with that leadership and that culture and, the, and being around a company like that, that's just crazy. It's undeniable. But it's real. Solar, it's real. solar is just undeniable. It's so lucrative. And I do believe we have a window here. We have laws passing in Nevada that'll probably trickle throughout all the states sb 293 mm -hmm. which it's going to make it very hard for 1099 contractors to just hop around from contractor to contractor mm -hmm. so i have just got in my c2 electrical license contracted contracting license which is a massive deal and i'm sure anybody who's listening explain how that works and why that's important it's massive it's it's like having a general contractor's license why it's important is because at point of sale i continue to go in and uh you know promise things that maybe an installer a, a five-star installer who, who says they're going to do xyz doesn't come in and do so and you don't hold the paper you don't control the funds you don't control the money so as being the license holder myself, we hold the whole process from point of Control sale, all. all of it to fulfillment, to putting the critter guard up, to funding, to getting paid. It goes all through one house now, which is like 
unheard of in this space, especially for younger females to be able to do. Um, I don't really like talk about the male dominated space because I just feel like I've elbowed my way through this whole, like, I feel like the more like women keep talking about what it's like to be a woman in a male dominated space. I feel like the more they talk about you're like, Wanting dude, why to, are you labeling all of this? Yeah, well, and like... Or why are you making excuses? And they want to be more like the men. And, it, and side note, side rant, women, if you're if, if you're working in this industry, any sales industry, you see it with Jacqueline. Be, your, be a woman. You have giftings as a woman. You have intuition. You have uh, d- details, excellence, things, discernment, wisdom, things that men do not have. Use those. Stop trying to be like the men in the industry. Yeah. That's why I believe we do so well is because I lean into my giftings as a woman mm-hmm. and I lead my team as as like that mother patri- matriarch type of figure, much like your wife does. Yeah. And her intuition is just retarded. It, and d- her discernment. I'm like, I'm like, like, how, did, how did you know that guy was going to burn me? And she's like, I-, I knew it when I first saw him. Mm-hmm. I'm like. It's the uterus. How did you know? It's the uterus. Yeah. And she's <laughs> it's like, the it's the mother instinct. It is. And I'm like, damn, I need some of that. You know. But but, but women have it. And by the way, you they know, lean in. this they is should no lean disrespect to men, but women have it. Mm-hmm. They're dangerous with it. And I love that you said lean into it. Mm-hmm. Lean you know into it. Yeah, don't, Stop don't trying try to be it. like the men. I think women have the ability to ki- kill sales like at, at a higher level just because because of their totally. giftings, their natural giftings. And I don't mean by using their sexiness or their assets. I just mean um, they have the ability to to see things differently, read people differently, yeah. speak to people differently, meet them where they're at differently, and like well, lean into that. Most women listen. Men don't. I know, that, that's true. I'm just and saying, say I was it, always like, I was always waiting to what to say next. Mm-hmm. You know, I already knew what I was going to say. And, and my wife's is, like, well, why don't we just let them finish? And then we can decide what we want to say. I'm like, damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're already thinking of overturning the objection, yeah. though, right? Right then and there. Yeah. But, yeah, but well, you know. Like, we didn't know. Maybe they were going to say something in a minute that might make me say something else. Uh-huh. So, but Take no, I, I love that. Listen. My wife is 10 times the closer than I am. Yeah. And we wouldn't have a business without her. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm a good showman. Yeah. But she's really good because she has all these things that you talked about. So yeah. I love that you brought that point out. Oh yeah, Keep please going. lean into that. And if you're a woman and you're in a, and you're in a company right now or a solar company and you don't feel like you have the respect or the space or well, a I, I place, think, I think you, I think you're looking for some saleswomen too. too I am. Right? I'm looking for absolutely for the saleswomen. Like, listen, I tell people this all the time. If you give me 90 days, serious 90 days, you attach yourself to my hip for 90 days. I will make you a six figure earner that I don't know anyone else who is offering that or, or promising that. Mm -hmm. And I will hold my own feet to the fire, but you got to hold your your feet to the fire as well. And that's what doesn't happen typically sometimes with the salesperson, right? Like it's always what the the leader owes you owe me, you owe me, but never willing. Like what I owe myself. I gave you a job. Show up. Yeah, yeah, you know, like no, you owe yourself. So, um, I definitely need badass saleswomen. I need people who have that like that gratitude, that gift of gratitude. And I was talking about this with Danny the other day. Like, I really do believe gratitude is birthed out of work ethic is grat birthed out of gratitude. Like, if I'm not grateful for my life, I'm not getting up for my life, right? Like yeah. You get up and you run as fast as you run mm-hmm. because you feel so indebted for this life, this life, right? Like, yeah. just like wig blown back that God has been this good, right? Like, so you get up and you you don't, you don't want to waste it. Mm-hmm. Like, it's the same thing with me. And I want people like that who are like, you know what? I'm alive. There's breath in my body. It ain't over for me because I don't know who told you it was over. I don't know who told you that you were done, but you're not done. It's not over. You got another chance. You deserve redemption. You deserve a new life. You deserve hope. You deserve a good leader. You deserve to have something. You deserve a legacy. You deserve for your children, your grandchildren to have legacies. Man, it hurts me. It pains me to see a generation of people so careless. Like they think this life is futile. It's just meaningless. Like, and, like they don't have a choice. Like they don't have a choice. Like they're just handcuffed into this victimized life. And you do, you have power of choice. You have freedom. And that was the thing that I learned coming off of drugs and alcohol was like, I didn't have freedom and I didn't have power of choice when I was under substance use. Like 
you don't have a lot of choices you're making for yourself. You're just a complete freaking loser. But like when you get healthy, Mm -hmm. spiritually, physically, mentally, you have the freedom and power of choice to do anything that you want in life, but you got to get healthy in those areas first. So that's why like, it's so important for us that we look at all of that because I might have a guy who come in, who comes in and he's struggling. He's a level 10 salesperson, but like you can see it, like maybe him and his wife are splitting up or there's something going on. Mm -hmm. Right. So we have to take a different angle so that guy can go back to producing. So, you know, just a different, a different way that we look at things. But like, I just want to remind anybody out there, like if someone told you it was over for you, or if you have any feelings of worthlessness, you are worthy, you are valued, you are part of a royal family, whether you know it or not. And, uh, uh, you deserve a really, really, really good life. And so do I. And uh, so do you. And that's what you're doing. You're chasing after it. And I'm creating my world. Like I 1000% believe that me and my husband have the ability to create the exact life we want for ourselves. And we're figuring out how we're going to do that right now with everything that we have going on. But yeah, I need leaders in those areas so we can go to those areas. We can build up Texas. We can build up Colorado. We can build up Arizona. And you're right. This is the only industry where I have guys who make from 60 grand a year to 500 grand a year, you know, 750 grand a year. But this is an industry where you can make a million dollars a year. There is no ceiling. There is no cap Mm -hmm. if you wanted it. And uh, we're those people that are going to push you and push on you. And I know people don't like to be pushed on too, but we lovingly, like you do, push on people. We want you to be better. And that's why you come to us in the first Mm -hmm. place. But I think people just forget once they're there. But like, in my organization, I just want people that are, are, are going to come in with a student mentality and be ready to have their life completely like rocketed into the next dimension. Yeah, guys, listen, I'm ready to quit my job right now <laughs> and I'm hired. Hey, I want to I tell you guys, um, so everything that she's saying, right, I know you guys get it, um, but I want to tell you what's really rare, which is what I really like about her. And then, um, and then we'll kill this off. But I want to tell you guys something because I want to give you a lot of value. Um, which I know you guys have gotten a lot of value from this is uh, positive peer pressure. Okay. There's negative peer pressure. Hey, do these drugs, Mm -hmm. right? Like, like be, don't, you don't worry about your family. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll figure it out. Just produce Mm -hmm. when you're around a good leader. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you how, you know, if you have a good leader, a good leader, number one, they lead by the example. Okay. Which means that what I'm about to tell you, they have to be living this for you to actually make it real. Mm -hmm. Okay. But she is living it. So now she can positively peer pressure you um, to have a better life. Now imagine this. How many people do you know in your life right now? Or how many people can you count on? Like who are the five people you need in your life to get you to where you want to go? Where you want to go? Who are those people? Do you know who they are right now? Maybe maybe you don't know who they are. Maybe that this is the time you need to meet her. Mm -hmm. Um, Her goal is to positively peer pressure you to become who you're supposed to become. Mm -hmm. Like no one's doing that. Mm -mm. Like no one's out there pressuring people to become great. No one's out there pressuring people to give their family better lives. Nobody's pressuring people, you know, to get better lives. Now your boss may say, Hey, I need some better numbers today. You know, but, but that's not it. That's just like a boss, Mm -hmm. right? That's like, do your job, like follow these rules. Guys, she's positively peer pressuring you to become and max out your potential in all areas. And that's just un heard of. I can count on on my hand five people I know out of like a million who do this and she's one of them. Mm. So I just want to say if you're watching this right now, I'm going to give you this number again. It's, you just text. It's it. And just be like, "Hey Bree, let's set up a call." Okay? And this could be the day that your life changes forever. I always tell people, I'm like, you're one decision away from changing your life forever. Mm-hmm. Just one decision away. Mm-hmm. Okay? So maybe even look or bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Good or bad. That's the Mm -hmm. truth. Um, but maybe this is the time where you're like, dude, I need something to change. So you reach out. Um, and by the way, like, who do you want to be like this next year coming up? I know, you know, I don't know when you're watching this, but we're coming into a new year. It's in December right now. Right. Like, like what's 2024 going to be like 2025, 2026, Mm -hmm. you know, the decisions you made yesterday shaped your future today Mm -hmm. and the decisions you make today shape your future tomorrow. So if you want a different future tomorrow and you want stuff to look different, you got to do something different. You know, I moved across from Oklahoma to to uh, to Arizona to literally find a new identity, to find a new life, to find a new a new a new me. Right. We were just talking about that. Yeah. Like sometimes you got to make a radical change. Yeah. 
Okay, like sometimes you got to matter, make a radical change. I mean, sometimes you got to do things when you hate where you're at. You got to say, hey, man, who's in charge of my life? Like, is someone else making me do this? Or are these my own bad decisions? Yeah. Am I afraid to do something? Or like, am I willing to put my back against the wall and believe on me? Mm. Well, if you do believe in you, you need to reach out to her. She's amazing. But I love you. She brought a lot of value today. She's a badass. She's Thank feisty you. as hell. Thank but you. dude, you guys can tell she wears her heart on her sleeve, which yes. is what a great leader does. She's super selfless okay which is what leaders are they're selfless okay a lot of people are selfish mm -hmm. okay and all she wants to do is see you win and by mm -hmm. the way she says me and my husband are going to create our own life and our own world I think that that's the kind of leader that I want to be around somebody that says no matter what happens out there we're going to be fine we're mm -hmm. going to do our own deal and we're going to kill it so you know if they self-sabotage if they don't see what we see that's fine you know what I mean? We create our own economy. We create our own reality. You know what's going to happen. So good. Brie, where can they find you on social media if they want to? Um, you can find me at official Brianne McCullough. Um, and, yep, that's right there. Official, and I'm sure there'll be a little yep. link, link right there. Brianne McCullough, M-C-C-U-L-L-O-C-H. Um, you can find me on Instagram. DM me. Call me. Text me, please. Yeah, I'm looking for some top top leaders in some new areas and looking to kill it man looking yeah. to change some lives yeah if you think you got what it takes reach out to her clearly she told you she won't let you fail I will and not. it's really it's really rare that a leader says hey if you'll show up committed for 90 days okay and you show up I'll show up mm -hmm. and there's not a chance in hell that you'll fail and I guarantee you could earn well, six figures or up to the high end of six figures. Mm -hmm. You just d decide as much as you want. I'll, I'll be by your side to help you get it. Absolutely. That just doesn't exist anymore. So I want to tell everybody much love. Have a blessed day. Yes, uh, yes. Bree, thanks for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you to you and your wife. You guys have like tremendously impacted my husband and my life so much already. Just getting you started. don't even know like such a big deal. Great leaders, great mentors to look up to. So well, thank we'll just you. Get started. I know. I appreciate right. it. Thank right, you. Guys. Hey, we'll see you soon. You'll see a whole bunch more of these coming out. But right now, if you're ready for a next level in life, you can reach out to Come Bree on. or take some of the advice. Just go kick ass where you're at. Yeah. Love you guys. Thanks, you baby. Let's go. Awesome. Hey guys, I just want to tell you you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor. Share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video. Comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.